I thought I would uh, uh, share my life in five minutes, five or six minutes. I tried to summarize my life and I wanted to share with you. So let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is uh, Toshizo Watanabe, and I have a nickname, Tom, here in America. Uh, when I returned to uh, uh, Japan after graduating from Brandeis University uh, in 1973, I started working for a U.S. company. And my American boss could not pronounce my Japanese name properly, so he started calling me Tom. So since then, I have this nickname. So I'll share my uh, life story in five minutes. Uh, I was born and raised in a small beach town called Zushi. Not Sushi. It's spelled Z-U-S-H-I, uh, right uh, next to Kamakura City in Kanagawa Prefecture. As you know, the Kamakura was the capital of Japan during the 12th and 14th century, and there was a uh, samurai warrior government, and I'm very proud of my hometown. Uh, it's a uh, beach resort town in the south of, uh, southwest of uh, Tokyo. I hope the Kamakura will become a uh, UNESCO uh, World, uh, World Heritage Site uh, sometime soon. It's on the list. And I grew up uh, in a milk store in Zushi. My mother managed for her uncle, uh, employing over 30 people. And many of them uh, lived together under one, under one roof. And when I was one year old, uh, my father died of tuberculosis when he was at, uh, 33 years old. And my mother had to raise me and my older sister uh, when she was 31 years old. Uh, my parents uh, were originally from uh, uh, Fukushima, the uh, northeastern Japan. And they went to Tokyo to work in order to support their family when they were in their teens. My mother didn't have a, a good education, but she realized its importance uh, working uh, as a housemaid for a low years uh, home office, and medical doctor's uh, uh, clinic. So she sent me to a Christian, private Christian school in Zushi. Uh, so I was there at kindergarten and elementary school. Uh, and I failed, uh, when I was 12 years old, I failed in the entrance examination to go to a private Christian uh, prep school in Kamakura. But I was accepted by a... Uh, uh, private uh, Buddhist school, high school, uh, called Kamakura Gakuen. And, uh, and Kamakura Gakuen was uh, uh, founded by the Kenchoji Temple, which is the oldest uh, Zen temple uh, in Japan, and founded in 1253. And I experienced a big culture shock uh, from Christian school, studying the Bible, once a week, and uh, uh, praying three times a day to a Buddhist school where you are required to do Zen meditation on a regular basis and sitting straight uh, with the, uh, crossed legs and occasionally you get hit by a stick when you fall asleep. So it was a big uh, difference from the Christian school to a uh, Buddhist uh, uh, school. And uh, in retrospect, uh, it was a very good experience, learning two uh, different um, uh, religious cultures. When I was 15 years old, I became interested in studying abroad. Uh, it was 1964. Uh, the Olympic Games were held in Tokyo for the first time in Asia. And my hometown was surrounded by the military bases uh, in Yokohama, uh, Yokosuka. And I had an opportunity to see and get to know some of the American GIs and officers. And uh, they were rich in the eyes of the Japanese then. 
and uh, I was attracted to the American way of life, and I made a decision to study, to go to America to study. But it took seven years uh, to realize my dream. I was studying at Keio University, and, uh, and I was so happy when I received a full scholarship from uh, Win International uh, Scholarship Program. And that covered the tuition fee, room and board, and the even book allowance. And I studied at Brandeis University in Massachusetts for two years. And uh, I graduated in 1973 uh, with a diploma in political science. And I returned to Japan. Uh, I had a big problem finding a job uh, with a diploma from the American University. Those days, uh, U.S. diploma meant nothing. But occasionally, I, I find a job uh, working for a U.S. company, uh, sales training and consulting company. And work, after working for two years, I became independent, uh, starting my own business. I engaged in uh, different businesses. Uh, and I had a big dream to succeed in, my, in owning my own business. And I experienced both successes and failures. While in my 40s and 50s, I uh, became most successful in ex expanding the healthcare product uh, business into the US and uh, over 30 countries. Uh, looking back, uh, I strongly believe that the studying in the US and working for a US company uh, really helped me succeed in business. And I had another dream, which was to uh, start uh, an educational foundation uh, because of the two businessmen who uh, enabled me to study in America. Uh, Mr. Wien, uh, the founder of the Wien International Scholarship Program, and Mr. Matsushita, uh, who, the, uh, the founder of uh, Panasonic and who created the uh, Matsushita Seike Institute. So both of them helped me uh, financially. And uh, uh, I wanted to emulate what they did uh, after their retirement. So I made a decision to uh, create a, a scholarship foundation after my retirement when I was 56 years old. So after I retired, I uh, created a Watanabe Foundation and I uh, established the, the first scholarship program at the National University of uh, Iceland with my uh, old friend at Brandeis University. I had a roommate from Iceland and who became a prime minister and uh, uh, she had, he had to resign after that, the financial crisis, but uh, now he's an Icelandic ambassador to the United uh, States. So it was an exchange student program between Iceland and Japan. Since then, I have been supporting the scholarship uh, programs. Uh, and I'm uh, committed to dedicating my life to uh, support highly motivated young uh, people with a scholarship. Um, the Win International Scholarship Program has supported more than 1,000 foreign students in the past uh, 55 years. And the Matsushita Seike Institute has helped uh, more than 250 Japanese political and business leaders in the past uh, 35 years. So my goal is to support the uh, uh, young people uh, with the scholarship in my lifetime and after. Goal setting is very important. So I set goals uh, all my life, and uh, uh, you know sometimes you don't achieve goals, and that is okay. But I think it's very important to keep setting goals. So I challenge you to uh, be persistent uh, in pursuing your goals.
the perseverance will last, will accomplish many things. Keizoku wa chikara nari. Thank you. So I summarized, I hope I summarized my life in ten, five minutes, or maybe longer. <laughs> Yes. I have a lot of questions too. I like oh, to ask. Know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, oh. <laughs> each one of them. <laughs> okay. mm -hmm. well, would you like to start with your question? Uh, maybe somebody uh, majored in political science. Uh, I, I I majored in political science. Oh, three of them. What would you like to do after, uh, uh, you know, finishing the undergraduate uh, work? Uh, uh huh. <laughs> um, I, for now, I'd like to. I don't know in what way, but I really want to contribute to create like world peace. It's so generous term, but like I'd like to contribute to it. Mm -hmm. And then now I'm so interested in two way, um, what, no, two way, like two concept concerning world peace. And one is that um, nuclear disarmament, mm -hmm. which like the most motivated me to come here to learn like the security issue because the US is like the country, only country who use the nuclear weapon and Japan is like only the victim of the nuclear weapon. This is my, like the biggest interest mm. to study here. Mm. And the second thing is like the conflict or poverty in Africa. Mm. And, um, and now I'm studying about both of these same, but I'm not, I can't decide which way to, I have to pursue. Mm. But like, yeah, I'd like to, yes, go to graduate school in some time, but I'm not sure it's immediately after graduation. I think maybe I have to work first and then, yes, but yeah, I definitely want to be someone to contribute to the mm. more better world, yes. Thank you. <laughs> you are a junior. I'm a junior, uh, okay. yes, thank you. Yes. Uh, I was inter interested in that, uh, uh, you know, the same thing, the world peace, uh, the nuclear disarmament, and when I was at Keio, I belonged to a world federation, uh, uh, world, uh, you know, the, uh, uh, the club to study world federa federation, and I also uh, uh, belonged to the ESS, English-speaking society. Uh, ESS, English Speaking Society at K, or KESS, they call it KESS. And uh, I was a very rebellious student, I think. I, I attended, uh, uh, participated in some demonstrations, and even in Boston, I was a student at Brandeis. Uh, I attended the, uh, I participated in the demonstration against the, the Vietnam War at the Boston Common. And, uh, during my time, the, all the universities in Japan, over 100 universities were closed, shut down for one year, like even Tokyo University. They didn't have an entrance examination for one year. So it was an interesting time. But somehow I didn't, uh, I changed my course from politics to uh, business. <laughs> so, I, so I was interested in listening to uh, you know, people who major in political science. Yes, and uh, somebody goes to uh, uh, studies at the UC uh, Berkeley. No, oh, okay. So my time, the UC Berkeley was the uh, center of a student uh, radical student movement, and the uh, for the West Coast and East Coast, Brandeis University was the. Uh, uh, the center of the rad radical student movement. Yes, and there were a lot of black activists there. So, in very interesting time. <clears throat> yes.
You are from uh, Georgia, Atlanta, Atlanta yes. Georgia. Yes. Yes. Um, honestly, I'm actually changing my course right now. <laughs> <laughs> to business? I, from political science to business? <laughs> I don't feel like doing politics anymore, to be honest. Okay. I'm sorry, but <laughs> <laughs> actually um, doing my research in polit political science is focusing on terrorism and immigration in the U.S. and also being being in in a predominantly black college, I realized that there is a limitation. There are always people who are ignored or kicked out from the politics we have. So I I will I will try to seek another way to 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 generate, um, generate something good, not a government level, politics level, but a people to people level. So I maybe right now I'm interested in nonprofit. So I and also I because I was studying immigration and also diversity mm. or something related to um, dif differences between people. So I would like to contribute to society in any way I can do in a society. So, yes. <laughs> okay. Any political science major? Well, I'm kind of in a similar situation with her, <laughs> actually. So my major is political science, although my yeah major is that. Mm. But um, since after I go back to Japan, I need to graduate the next year, next spring. Mm. So right now I'm kind of um, started the job hunting on all kinds of stuff. And so right now I sometimes do interviews on Skype. Mm -hmm. So I'm have the um, motivation to go into the business field as okay. well. Mm -hmm. But I still want uh, to learn more about the, the diversities and the ethnicities and then different backgrounds of people. So mm -hmm. I'm still thinking that's my answer. But like I hope and I believe that this opportunity mm -hmm. to come here and learn a lot of wisdoms mm -hmm. from the lots of people would be um, help me to realize my dreams or the the thing that I need to pursue. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yes. that's amazingly. I'm in the same I'm okay. in the same situation, <laughs> <laughs> and oh, you're I studying. In KO and political science, I and I went to Kamakura yeah, yeah. High School. Oh, Kamakura, okay. But it's not it's not Kamakura Gakuen. It's okay. Kamakura High School. Know, it's, you uh, know, it. prefectural yeah. school. Oh, okay, <laughs> uh, Yuigahama Beach. Yeah, yeah, right? uh, yeah. Yuigahama. I live in Shonan. Uh, yeah, uh, okay. so it's so close, uh, and I have yeah. I love dynamics of international politics, mm -hmm. and international security. Mm -hmm. But my experience in Africa or many other countries changed mm. my mind, and I wanted to go forward to the business field. Mm. Yeah. So and my and actually you are like my role model. <laughs> <laughs> As I heard your story, oh, I want to be like that kind of way. So mm. I want us to do the business. I want us to make a lot of money, and I want us to pay back to the people mm. in the young generations. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm thinking. Okay. So you. Uh Go to Keio University yeah. and study at the uh, law, de uh, you know, in, in department law department. There are two uh, uh, no, departments: yeah. the and political the science, and political science. Oh, political yeah. science. I see. Okay. So you have a uh, senior senpai, uh, famous uh, seniors like uh, Yuzo Kayama oh. and Shin uh, Yujiro Ishihara. Hi, hi. <laughs> 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 yeah, they went to uh, uh, Keio. The the political science department, right? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> it's interesting, yes. I, I do not want to admit, but I had a big dream when I was in high school and uh, college, and uh, my big dream was to become a Prime minister. No, no uh, secre <laughs> secretary general of the United Nations. <laughs> like uh, at my time, the Utant from uh, Myanmar or Thailand mm -hmm. was the secretary yeah. general of the United Nations. So I dreamed to become this, uh, you know, secretary general to bring world mm -hmm. peace. <laughs> but uh, somehow, at some point, I changed my course. Uh, well, after studying at Brandeis, living in, in the U.S. for two years, mm -hmm. I was kind of dismayed by the Vietnam War. And the, also, there was a big incident, uh, Watergate incident. So after I returned mm -hmm. to Japan, I totally changed. So. I do not want to admit it <laughs> because I had to give up my, you know, dream or goal. But I guess sometimes you have to do that. Yeah. It's got science on. change. <laughs> Always mind. <laughs> okay. I have a question for you. Since I'm so excited to talk with you today, I searched your name a lot on Google. <laughs> and oh, <no. laughs> I'm sorry, like a stoke. But I found out one video about uh, a broader view, Jinsei Okaira America Ryugaku. Oh, is that, yeah, yeah, I yeah, watched I it. In, uh, <laughs> and I knew. In December. December yeah. Early December. Yes. yes. Uh -huh. And I knew you, um, you became an entrepreneur when you were 26. Uh -huh. And I was so surprised because I think I thought it's a really young age. Right. And then uh, my question is why did you decide to have your own business and be an entrepreneur when you were 26? Uh -huh. And also, did your experience in the U.S. Uh, how affected your experience in the U.S. to have your own business? Okay, oh, difficult questions. And, uh, the first question. You ask two questions, right? First question. <laughs> I'm getting old. I'm 68 years old, and it's hard to memorize the, the questions. You know, in America. People ask so many questions, like, like uh, the president has to answer, like a journalist asks, you know, three, four questions. But, uh, in Japan, you know, that does not happen. Yeah. You are limited to ask just one question. No, you know, like that. <laughs> Here in the U.S., you know, you have to uh, handle all those questions. And... Oh, okay, 26. Okay, one by one. One by one. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I worked for a U.S. company for two years, and uh, I've always wanted to uh, own my own business. And I guess I grew up in a, uh, uh, in a store. I mean, uh, no, the uh, the uh, as I told you, my mother had a, a managed the um, a dairy store, uh, uh, dairy product store, and uh, I've been a merchant. I mean, I, I've been. Uh, uh, surrounded by merchants, uh, the entrepreneurs, and uh, uh, I started making money as a by del delivering milk when I was small. Uh, I I deliver delivered milk for 12, 10 years from twelve to twenty two years old, and and I was good at making money, uh, not to support my family, but to use my you know <laughs> own things and. Uh, uh, so that's why I like to, I think I learned to do business. My mother taught me how to, uh, you know, uh, be on my own making money. So that's, uh, that's why I think I wanted to start my own business. And I never wanted to wor work for a large corporations in Japan. And second question. Second question. In your video, you mentioned um um, your experience in the U.S. changed your life uh -huh. a lot, and then so I'm very interested in how your experience in the U.S. changed your life and it, how it's affected to have your own business. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, well, I, as I said, I wanted to work for the United Nations or international organizations, but uh, uh, since I returned to uh, Japan, I worked for the sales company, the consulting company, and uh, I think that experience uh, changed my life also. Uh, uh, 
I learned about the uh, business trainings and uh, uh, so the, the working for a U.S. company in two years, that also affected my uh, the thinking and decided to uh, go into the business world. Yes. Uh, I have a question about uh, current English education in Japan, especially mm. at school, because I want to be an English teacher in Japan. Mm. But um, do you see any problem about current education? Because, especially because you uh, got interested in uh, studying abroad when you were young. Uh -huh. So, like, how did you get interested in? Because, especially, like, yeah, like uh, maybe when you are young, mm -hmm. like it's kind of hard to. Uh, I, I guess it was kind of hard to mm -hmm. um, like interact with like foreign people or um, know about different cultures. Mm -hmm. So, like, um, I wonder how you got interested in um, foreign culture or studying abroad. Mm -hmm. uh it's my education at uh, Christian uh, school. I went to a Christian school, uh, kindergarten and the elementary school for two years and six years. And uh, there was an English class once a week. And I liked that English class very much from kindergarten. Oh, the, yes. Uh, and uh, so I was, when I went to a high school, I was get, very good at English. <laughs> Not speaking, but the, you know, writing and uh, reading. So I think the English uh, uh, should be compulsory, starting the first grade. And uh, I just watched the television this morning, and the Japanese government decided, to, uh, decided that the English would become a compulsory starting from the third third grade and it's now from the fifth grade so I think the you know, uh, English class should be cons compulsory from the first grade in elementary school and not just one class a week but uh, one class every day maybe, you know. and, uh, also, um, so when you first time when you visit foreign country mm -hmm. did you have any problem uh, in terms of language? Uh, I, uh, I took lessons from American teachers when I was in high school, uh, and I even worked for uh, American uh, family at uh, a military base in Yokosuka as a houseboy taking care of uh, you know, small <laughs> children. And, uh, and when I was at Keio University, I went to uh, the school called uh, LIOJ, uh, Lang Language Institute of Japan, and lived with the American teachers for uh, three, to three or four months. And I thought I was, uh, uh, would have any problem speaking English, but uh, uh, that was not the case, you know. It's, uh, uh, Conversational English is okay, but uh, you know, uh, uh, I was so overwhelmed by the uh, amount of books that you have to read, and uh, uh, it was very difficult for the first year. I I'm sure you are experiencing that. Uh, so it was a big challenge, yes. Yes, and I, I had to have a tutor, you know, the, the, the university uh, had a program, you know, to teach uh, English, uh, uh, so writing the uh, no, report, and uh, so I had a difficult time. Yes, first, especially the first year, and I'm sure some of you are uh, experiencing the same thing. Did you learn only like your major field in in the U.S.? Uh, no. Yes. Uh, Especially, like, did you have any, like, interesting topics you learned in the U.S.? Mm -hmm. Yes, I was interested in international politics, international relations, but uh, I took uh, different courses, I mean, uh, courses, uh, and I liked it 
those uh, you know uh, courses uh, which are not related to the international politics. Uh, I majored. Uh, I mean, I took course of uh, Japanese art, and I liked it very much. I learned a lot about uh, <laughs> Japan and the uh, ukiyo-e, <laughs> and, uh, and uh, yes, and I uh, also took the architecture course, which I liked very much, because uh, uh, this does not happen in Japan. But the that professor took us to you know outside of the campus. You know, went to uh, the Boston and uh, look at the you know, architecture, famous architectures, and uh, even art class. You know, took us to the museum, uh, museum uh, uh, of Boston Museum. So uh, I really enjoyed, you know, those courses. So I think you should all do that. You know. What did bring you to having company in the field of healthcare? Mm -hmm. From, from well, uh, my, I had a s different businesses, and because uh, I started different businesses, and the first uh, business—it's not really a business—but I, I uh, opened a school. That was my first business, uh, the Juku or uh, the prep school for. those who failed in the entrance examination to go to college. So I had a prep school and uh, language school, English language school, and Japanese language school. And also I uh, was in a tra uh, trading business too, uh, ex importing, exporting. And uh, I, uh, the, the healthcare products the, was one of my clients uh, asked me to uh, Open the U.S. market, so that's why I got uh, involved in that uh, healthcare product business. Any other questions? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yes, uh, uh, well, you know, you, I, the first business I lasted for six years, the, uh, well, actually it's more than 10 years, but I decided uh, to uh, engage in different businesses and uh, uh, Well, in that sense, I, I guess I'm not so. Uh, uh, consistent, akipoi, you know. You, <laughs> you know, you, you, I tend to focus one thing for two, three years, and then I, <laughs> you know, uh, my focus changed to you know a different field. That's what happened to my life. <laughs> I hate to admit. <laughs> Uh, what are you hoping, uh, what are you hoping us, for us as a scholars? Like, do you have any advice? Or I always ask. Uh, no, it's up to you. you no, know, as I said, you know, the, keep setting goals, and uh, you know, I, I want you to achieve it. And uh, you know, you don't always achieve them, but uh, I like you to keep setting high goals. And, that's what I hope you to do. Yes. Yes? Uh, when you were studying in the United States, did you have like a memorable event or experiences that you changed your economy? Well, I talked about the demonstration. <laughs> that is not so good, you know. But uh, a lot of people uh, uh, during that period, you know, went to uh, Washington D.C. to demonstrate against the Vietnam, or like in Washington D.C. Or, or the Boston. Everywhere, I think, in in the United States, like even in Japan and in Europe. 
and that was one of the memorable, <laughs> memorable events. And uh, the some radical students shot, you know, occupied the administration building, uh, right? And also there was some drug problem, and the police came in. You know. Do you have that kind of problem? No? <laughs> Maybe I should have been talking about this. <laughs> no? During my time, is that OK to talk about? I was shocked uh, at, uh, yeah, this is the most shocking thing. I was shocked that uh, so many people were smoking marijuana on campus. <laughs> Even <laughs> smart people, you know, very smart people after they uh, uh, finished you know, the uh, examinations. You know, let's get together and get uh, smoke. Maybe I shouldn't talk about that. Uh, uh, those times, uh, the governor, McGovern, I think, uh, if I remember correctly, he wanted to legal, uh, legalize marijuana. That, that was a big issue. You know. You know, we didn't have that problem in Japan, but in the US, it was a uh, not big problems. I was shocked to see uh, like a rock concert in Boston Common and uh, people are, they're all smoking marijuana and the police, policemen are walking around. And, uh, I, I don't know what's happening uh, now, but uh, those days it was uh, uh, terrible. But it's, it's not <laughs> to me, it was uh, in a shocking event. Maybe <laughs> some of you, uh, <laughs> those who lived in that area, <laughs> I mean, error. So that was shocking. And uh, uh, at campus, uh, uh, like a Jane Fonda visited our campus. You know Jane Fonda, who was an uh, activist uh, uh, during that uh, time, the uh, movie actress. And a lot of uh, uh, people came to the campus and talked about the, and the political issues. So that was, uh, I enjoyed those uh, events. Um, you said setting high goals. High goals. High goals, but how high? How high? <laughs> it's up to you. <laughs> yes. Like uh, Secretary General of the United Nations or the <laughs> <laughs> Prime Minister of J Japan. <laughs> yes. You mean whatever you, whatever you want to do? Uh -huh. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I like uh, the, the, you know, ladies to take an important positions, you know. Uh, when I, whenever I visit Iceland, you know, I'm surprised that, you know, they have, uh, the women have a very uh, important uh, positions in the government and in the business world. My question is, do you have anything that you wanted to achieve for the rest of your life? you have any other dream or aspiration? Uh, well, I'd like to focus on uh, this, uh, the, uh, the foundation mm -hmm. scholarship programs. Yes, that's okay. my aspiration, yes. Well, thank you so much. <laughs>